the FBI, they have no regard for the people. All right, this horrible, horrible mistake and the FBI, no corrective action. All right, just those missteps, just a few missteps we know is much more severe and we know their practices, their evil practices go beyond a presidential campaign. Did you see those whistleblowers in Capitol Hill today? They were amazing from left to right. Special Agent Garrett O'Boyle uh, in the middle there, FBI Special Agent Stephen Friend and Intelligence Specialist Marcus Allen in the front row. Amazing heroes. And look, we needed to have it officially in the congressional record that those school board meetings, right? Those people, sure, they're fired up. Why not? Uh, the, the school board, the schools are feeding children pornography. They have a right to speak out, don't they? Well, you know the FBI is writing down license plates numbers of those who drive to the school board meeting. And thank goodness we heard from Special Agent Garrett O'Boyle on this. A neighbor or, or somehow someone knew a parent that they believed was extreme. And so they called the FBI and reported that parent to the FBI. When citizens in this country get to a point where they can call the most powerful law enforcement agency in the world on their neighbor just because they disagree with them, that is chilling to the First Amendment rights of the people who are getting the FBI called on them. Yeah, the government in fear of the people, that it should not be this way. We all know it, and we need patriots like this to say it out loud and get it in the congressional record and for things to start happening to correct this, this out-of-control bureaucracy. It's taking over. January 6th. You know the party line. You know the official line, basically, of corporate America. Everybody, January 6th was the worst thing that happened to this country since the War of 1812. It was an insurrection. It was this. It was that. It was none of those things, actually. None of those things. Yes, bad things happened. And Marcus Allen, intelligence specialist, takes care of that part. I was not in Washington, D.C. on January 6th. Played no part in the events of January 6th. And I condemn all criminal activity that occurred. All right. So do I, by the way. But now this. It appears that I was retaliated against because I forwarded information to my superiors and others that questioned the official narrative of the events of January 6. As a result, I was accused of promoting conspiratorial views and unreliable information. Because I did this, the FBI questioned my allegiance to the United States. I'm questioning the same thing. I'm questioning the narrative. Does the FBI have concerns about my allegiance to the greatest country in the world, right? Better not. I would not be surprised if my name, maybe even your name, is in some file there and they've taken a look at this show once or twice. Why? Because we point out things like this. Number one, the little cop aggressively waving people onto Capitol Hill. Number two, the officers just standing there as everyone came right on in. Why weren't they stopped? Number three, why did those three police officers walk away just before Ashley Babbitt was killed? Why would they walk away like that? Why would they walk off their post and allow Ashley Babbitt to be murdered? And more recently, we found out that the Horns guy was escorted around Capitol, the Capitol building by Capitol Police. Talking about this, apparently got Tucker Carlson fired, potentially? Wow. Um, we have this, Stephen Friend. Special Agent Stephen Friend said, you know what? For people who did not break anything on Capitol Hill, who did not hurt anybody, who might be guilty of a misdemeanor offense, we should not be sending in SWAT teams to get those guys. And that's what the FBI has been doing. FBI SWAT teams going against people who didn't hurt anybody, who didn't break anything. And what has this done coming out for the, for the whistleblowers telling these stories? Check it out. It has been more than a year since the FBI took my paycheck from me and we're getting financially crushed. My family and I have been surviving on early withdrawals from our retirement accounts while the FBI has ignored my request for approval to obtain outside employment during the review of my security clearance. We have lost our federal health insurance coverage. And there's apparently no end in sight. I believe these guys, by the way, totally. And even the Democrats, you know what they really quibbled about? Technically, according to regulations, you might not be whistleblowers because you didn't fill out this form, you didn't get this approved, whistleblower status, right? But they really didn't quarrel with what they were actually talking about. Here's Garrett O'Boyle, what he went through, and look at this bureaucratic trickery they pulled on him. 
In weaponized fashion, the FBI allowed me to accept orders to a new position halfway across the country. They allowed us to sell my family's home. They ordered me to report to the new unit when our youngest daughter was two weeks old. Then, on my first day on the new assignment, they suspended me, rendering my family homeless. <clears throat> they refused to release our goods, including our clothes, for weeks. <clears throat> All I wanted to do was serve my country by stopping bad guys and protecting the innocent. To my chagrin, bad guys have begun running parts of the government, making it difficult to continue to serve this nation and protect the innocent. And protect the innocent. Bad guys running the government, a lot of them are actually, and that government not accountable to us.